Doing good. Our preparation's going this week for, you know, big game on uh, Saturday. Pretty good. Everybody locked in. Do what they have to do. Everybody paying attention to the key. So as long as we lock in and do what we do, should be should be prepared come Saturday. There's been a lot of talk about the pace of their offense. Um, you know, what what challenges does that present for, for you guys on defense? Nothing really. We just have to get lined up and then communicate on defense. How different is it preparing for two a two quarterback system? <laughs> it's actually people think it's hard, but it's pretty easy because they only can do so much with uh, the two quarterbacks. We know one of them is a one uh, running quarterback, and the other one is a passing quarterback. So we just have to be locked in to who is in the game. They want to run a lot of plays. I mean, are you all prepared to you know get off the field on third down so that you don't have to be out there for a long time running quick plays? Yeah, main thing is we just our main goal is just try to get three and outs and every time we go on the field. So just get off the field on third down. That's the money down. As long as we do that, then we should be ready to go. That was, that was a mindset for the defense heading into this game. You know, the, the kind of talk's been around this area, just the, the new Kentucky offense. How do you guys kind of just feel the mindset? Our mindset is we're going to do what we have to do and take care of business, we just should have no problems. They, we know they're going to line up, do a bunch of formations, try to run a lot of plays, but we just have to get lined up and communicate on defense. They, they've got an office that likes to go at that high pace. Do you mind? Do you like going at that tempo, or do you wish you could get a few seconds of a breather in between plays? Or? I wish we could get a few seconds of breather in it, but we know they're going to check to the sideline, so we're out trying to catch our breath. What do you think about you know when you face offenses like that? Is it, is it frustrating? Is it... Annoying. It's not frustrating because we prepare you know, during practice. You know, we go fast, they fast pace during practice. So when it comes to the game, it'll be a lot easier. With the defense having so much success in the first two games, what do you guys focus on primarily? Just with giving up 14 points, you know, what what do you focus on? Our main goal is not not to give up the big play and stop the run. And once we stop the run, make them do something out of their comfort zone, then that falls that falls into our hands. What did you kind of think about? Did you? From based on their Western Kentucky game to their Miami game, yes. do you feel like they improved a lot, or do you think? I mean, Miami is, has not was not an amazing team. So, I mean, do you think it was more quality of the opponent or quality of, of Kentucky's offense? I feel like it was more quality of the opponent. I feel like Miami Ohio wasn't pretty. You know, they didn't they didn't communicate, didn't they? Uh, prepare for defense like we we know we can. So. It was mainly, it's about us really, just going out as a defense and stopping what they do. What do you, uh, what did you think about this, the way they switched their quarterbacks in and out? And, and how much have you guys been working on, on kind of that adjustment that they're, they're probably likely to make several times? Yeah, we've been preparing since uh, we started scouting them. We know one of their, like I said before, one of the quarterbacks are running quarterback and don't throw the ball that much, and the other quarterback is a passing quarterback. So we just have to know who's in the game and no personnel. How much